had a vision today. Yesterday I walked a lot and I was tired. I said, let me sleep and rest. And so I had a vision today. And that's the vision that woke me up. I saw Christians all over the world in the city. And I even saw some members of our church. Was, God was showing me like what's happening in the churches. And I saw occulting men moving around the city. Very dedicated in moving around the city. And then there was a prayer meeting that was meant for Christians to pray against the occulting works in that city. And then there were just few Christians in that prayer meeting. And then the person that was supposed to lead that prayer meeting, who was a woman, a woman of God, I saw. I was in the prayer meeting. When she came, she said, are, 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 all, of these, are, these, are, are all of these the people for the prayer meeting? Even a few that were there, I saw the occulting people wearing, some were wearing red gown, some were wearing yellow, some were wearing black, covered their heads. But I could see their faces. They were going around the streets of the city, making incantations. And then the believers were supposed to gather and pray, and there were just a few of them. And when the woman who was supposed to lead prayer came, she said, I think all the people who are there, that who are there for prayers, he was surprised. And the occult, you could see the group of occult, not few, they were on a long line like this. They were a group with red, 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 red gowns. They were a group with white, white. They were a group with black, black. They were a group with blue, blue. I could see them on the street, long queue. And yet there were just few believers in that city that were gathered to pray. And the funny thing is that because the few believers were few, why the thought and the head what those occult people were doing one of the city quarters in the city they believed and their energy was not enough to stand against it they, they took off and they were running i saw how we were running even me myself was running that they were running i'm giving this warning to the world the antichrist is already in the church uh, in, 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 in the cities if the church will not arise in prayer, any believer that will not be given to prayer, morning prayer, and ensuring the priesthood is stable and the atmosphere of God established in the land will not prosper in this generation. Grace will be with them. They, they have enjoyed grace for long. They have been in their mishaps, been in their wrong, in their disobedience and rebellion, and God has prospered them. One day, famine will begin in the church. The end time famine, the Bible talks about, will begin in the Christians that will not take their prophetic voices serious. I'm telling you, it will be tough for them. It will be tough for them. Watch and see, even in this church. I give this warning. Wickedness is prevailing. Because the sons of God have refused to pray. But some of us, our needs will not be tired. And I say you in this auditorium this morning, your needs will not be tired. I didn't hear that, amen. Amen. We are going to pray one prayer point today, just one. Father, awake the church from sleeping. You say, Peter.